All right, fellow Tarnish, welcome back <clears throat> to a playthrough of Elden Ring. I'm Stubbs the Wizard, your host with the most that likes breaking things up like that. Um, for those of you that are newer to the channel or otherwise don't know me as well as you might, um, this channel, or just me in general, I generally play themed playthroughs of stuff, especially Elden Ring is what I'm doing now. So this playthrough, I'm playing as a samurai. Let's get in the light so we can see him. His name is Kegareta. Look at that long sword. That's the Nagakiba. Uh, reminds me of the washing pole from uh, from Dark Souls. Now, this was suggested to me by Mindless Meat. Um, don't let his name fool you. He is made of meat. Uh, but he's not mindless. Very, very smart guy. <clears throat> a chemist out in the Pacific Northwest. And he suggested I'd play as a samurai that is steeped in honor. Before each boss, he bows to the boss. Doesn't use poison. Um, that sort of thing. Plays strictly by the Bushido Code. So that is, that's what it is. And, and I'm, I'm open to any comments people want to make that suggest things. So we're going to take on Castle Born. Now notice I can summon stuff here, but I'm going to wait to summon because going up here will cause the summon to go away. Now there's a dog over, over here to my left that's just waiting on me to do stuff. And you have been defeated. So I wanted to acknowledge a comment uh, by Mindless Me. And he had mentioned, well, he mentioned a couple things. Um, he had said that this sword. Um, because I've commented on how long it is, it's, you know, uh, he said that it reminds him a lot of Sephiroth's sword, which, um, oh man, good dodge, dog. Sephiroth, uh, is a, uh, sort, I guess, antagonist, you'd say. I'm having trouble locking on to that dog. Sephiroth is an antagonist in Final Fantasy. One of them, I, I'm guessing, I think it's seven, but I, I am not an expert in Final Fantasy, so correct me if I'm wrong on that, or tell me I'm right, mindless me, whichever you want to do, as appropriate. Got through him fairly quickly. Okay. Um, anyway, he said it reminded him of Sephiroth. I wanted to, I wanted to mention that because one of the things Mindless Meat said, and, and I take it as the compliment it is and how he intended it. What he said was, "You played this game, i.e., Elden Ring, better than I ever could." And uh, then he mentioned, uh, you know, Sephiroth, and that made me think that I, you know, while I understand this compliment, I, and I get it and I take it, and that was very, very kind of him, if he would play Elden Ring, oh, I knocked you right out of the air, brother, he would be just as good, if not better, than. Me or, or, or a lot of people, you know. Um, because if you look at... He plays Final Fantasy. And I've, I've often said about him uh, that he has forgotten more about, about Final Fantasy than most of us will ever know. You know. And... Uh, and that... And so... You know, I would say... 
it's the same thing. He, I would, I would say the same thing about him about Final Fantasy. He plays Final Fantasy better than I ever could. Now that. That may or may not, I mean, that is certainly accurate, right, because I don't regularly play, if at all, Final Fantasy. And it's not that it's not a great game or anything, it's just uh, I haven't played it much, is all. And so, um, I just want to encourage you, Mindless Meat, um, I have the faith that if you started playing... Um, oh, hello. If you started playing Elden Ring or Dark Souls, whatever, based on your work ethic and your intelligence, I think you would, you would rival about anybody over time, you know, it's just you get, you get used to things. Um, that being said, oh, I missed that one. I appreciate the compliment. It was very, very kind of you. And I think his compliment had to do on the comment on a, a video where I was taking on a knight cal cavalry. <laughs> and it's sort of, there's a, there's another friend of mine named Mindless Meat. Not Mindless Meat. Mindless Meat is what I was talking about. <laughs> uh, another friend of mine named I'm Not Great that uh, he's really, he is really good at... Um, at, at Elden Ring as well. And, uh, he, when he goes and fights mounted people, <laughs> he, uh, he just mounts. And, which is really impressive. And he uses like a dual wheel, you know, he's heard of shields and wants nothing to do with it, you know. And so he's, pretty much pure melee and uh skiddle the D that was weird how I I sort of cocked my sword the wrong way and then hit him <clears throat> so anyway I'm not great will always dismount and uh, fight, fight uh, mounted guys. So I was taken on. Well, I just bowed to the butterflies. Thank you, thank you, butterflies, for giving your life for making my fire bombs and whatever I'm going to make with you. There's some more. Oh, I just caught myself on fire. I'm a competitor. Anyway, so I think that's what Minus was talking about because what I did was to sort of. I don't know, maybe impress I'm not great or, or hope he'd be proud of me. <laughs> I dismounted and took on the Knight Cavalry out in the Weeping Peninsula and uh, was successful. Which um, speaks to the old saying, it is better to be lucky than good. So anyway, no, I thought, uh, I thought I did pretty well. And I used the... Uh, Raptors, I don't remember what the name of it was, but I just hand, oh, oh, he's still alive. Oh, got a parry on you. So I used, uh, I haven't used this action war Ash of War too much. Um, it's Raptor of the Mist. The place I've used it most is actually on the chariots. Uh, in, in some of the catacombs where they have the chariots going. Because you can use Raptor of the Mist to avoid the damage. What happens is you go into a crouch. And then once you get hit by something, you don't take any damage. You don't take any damage, but you jump up in the air. And so I use that to great effectiveness at the... Uh, I'm going to get this coward that's firing bows, crossbows. 
that was not honorable, sir, to be peppering them with bows. <laughs> he he. Oh, I missed him total. <clears throat> oh, I stabbed him through through the soldier. I did it again. <laughs> That's such a long sword. So anyway, um, the Raptor of the Mist, it come at me. Well. There we go. Well, thank goodness for iframes. If I had not had the iframe, for those of you that are not as savvy with terminology in Elden Ring or Dark Souls, the iframes are invincibility frames, which means when you're in the middle of an anim animation, you're impervious to damage. So since I was um, finishing up an animation there of a parry and repost, it made me take no damage from that guy. Um, if I did not have that, I would have um, been pretty well stabbed. Come at me, brother. So these guys are fairly predictable. Go down and get this guy over here, just for sense of completeness. You can parry them. Uh, a lot of the times they will jump over you. Now you might wonder why I didn't do that first. The reason it's okay if you do, but then you're not inclined to get the claymore, and you're also your wolves disappear before you can get up this ladder, or over by it. So I don't typically. All right, let's get this guy's attention. Come at me, brother. Let's get down here. Let's party. What do you got? What do you got? These guys have a hole in their training or something where they want to continuously jump over you and open themselves up to a an attack. They're not terribly tactically um, great. All right, let's. You hit me, you jerk. Come at me. It's kind of weird that it gives you that chime as if they're um, stunned. Oh man. <laughs> Though, that one looks a little bit fatal. The one on my spine can't feel too good. Woo! I'm going to walk it off. Walk it off. Man, that one on my foot really hurts. Okay, walking it off. Oh, man. That hurt. Okay, we're okay now. That's all it takes. Rub some dirt on it. Walk it off. Pardon me. So. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. I see you. Missed my parry. You stun locked me, you heathen. I'll make it up here. <clears throat> So anyway, Raptor the Mist was a was a pretty fun way to take out the the uh, uh, the Knight Cavalry uh, because it 
you avoid all damage and pop up in the air and you can do a heavy attack. That's pretty fun. I haven't used it much before, but uh, one of the decisions I made was to, was to keep... I was going to do lightning, but I'm going to keep this as a straight-up dexterity build. And let the chips fall where they may. Uh, one of the nice things about that is... I don't know what, what katanas I'll end up with, but for this one, the Nakakiba, I'll be able to put uh, status greases on it and stuff like that. If I use something like Rivers of Blood, which I don't intend on using, um, you can't put stuff on it. Greases and whatnot. I just knocked him off the castle. That was awesome. The trick with those guys is that when they, after they shoot their three, they dip down to where you can hit them pretty easily. Plus they have a sword that's probably, I don't know, what do, what do you guys think? Six feet long, eight feet long? I don't know. Skidoo. Let's go up and talk to Edgar. Now, let's leave out the fact that his daughter's already dead. Hey, where'd Edgar go? Oh, man. Wow. My research into Hi Hyena messed this up. He's over already out by Hyena. Or not Hyena. Uh, Arena, who's the same as Hyena. That's interesting. So I've already seen her dead. Therefore, I wonder if I can summon for this fight now. We'll find out. I will go ahead and end it here. I'm going to level up, though, first. So I wanted to uh, talk to you about the Free Time Creators Collective. I have mentioned them uh, to the people with I'm not great and mindless meat out of it. And so it's interesting when you talk about um, being expert in a game, like mindless meat said, you know, he and Katie thought I was pretty expert at Elden Ring. He's clearly very expert at Final Fantasy. And, uh, you know, I'm not great. I mentioned Elden Ring and several others. Uh, I'm not great's wife, Plumberry Delicious. She's playing Sons of the Forest, and she's building Love Lore, and she might have it done now. i got to go check in on her channel. But, um... Pretty big... Pretty big build. Pretty impressive, the way she the way she's doing it. And, so the point is she's expert in that and sort of the survival type games. And that's the beauty of the Free Time Creators Collective. We're a bunch of um, creators that... Uh, I'm going to take these off for now. They just kind of bug me. But we're creators that, that uh, put out content on YouTube and other platforms, mostly YouTube, that... Uh, that uh, well, it's gaming. And we play games, and so, like I mentioned, we're expert in all sorts of different games. All sorts of personalities. And, um, you know, just check them out. I'm going to put a link to the Discord in the description, as well as some links to the OG channels. And uh, give them a look, see what you think. Like the video, subscribe to the channels if you'd like. Um, give them comments. The great thing about comments with the smaller channels is that we'll respond to them all eventually, right? And so, so that's nice. And feel free to join us over on Discord. And we only have one rule uh, that I know of. We're not very much flow charted or anything, but uh, just be kind, be nice, be encouraging, positive. 
uh, that's that's what it's there for for encouragement and uh, you know we just we're not overly fond nor particularly allow negativity that's not what it's about so anyway I will leave it here uh, that's for this video I'd like a like and subscribe if you would comments I love getting those I like engaging with everybody and I appreciate you watching as long as you keep watching I'll keep making them thanks